So it looks like people are expecting the PS5 Pro to be at CES this year. We're going to talk about some comments that Tom Henderson had to say. We're also going to talk about Silent Hill 2 Remake and where it is in the development stage and why we should probably expect it sometime this year. We're also going to talk about this new video that PlayStation uploaded to their main channel about upcoming PS5 games in 2024, which has highlighted two peculiar games that uh, we actually don't know a release date for but have now given a hint maybe at this possibly happening. And those games are Silent Hill 2 and Metal Gear Solid Delta. Now, before we jump into all of this, if you guys could do me a huge favor and hit that like button, subscribe if you're new and share the video to keep the community informed. Now let's talk about the PlayStation 5 Pro. On Twitter, Tom Henderson says, it seems like everyone is hyped that the PS5 Pro might be announced at CES. Personally, I'd be surprised if they were to announce a new console nine to 10 months from release if that's the timeline they are still going with so more inclined to believe a late q3 announcement and this comes after a lot of people have been speculating that uh, the ps5 pro would get an announcement or a reveal at ces since that is a hardware show they show off a lot of new technologies that they have and people have thought hey maybe we're going to get a ps5 pro there but with Tom Henderson's logic, I think it makes a lot of sense that they definitely wouldn't want to show the PS5 Pro there, especially if they're still aiming for, you know, nine to 10 months down the road, because that's going to entice people to wait and not buy the latest hardware. Although there will be those who wouldn't want to spend the extra money anyway, it still would make them want to wait and see what happens. So it would impact their sales and it wouldn't make any sense at this point. If you want to reveal hardware a couple months ahead of time, it's okay. But I think once we get into the nine, 10 month mark, that's, that's a long time for hardware. So I wouldn't really expect to see the PS5 Pro at CES. I definitely think that that is not likely going to be there. And I think if anybody would really know about this insider stuff in terms of especially PlayStation hardware, Tom Henderson would be the person being that he's leaked so much of their hardware already talking about headsets, the, uh, edge controller, the PlayStation portal, all these different things in a short time frame were all leaked by him. So I really don't think we should be surprised if he has some sort of information about the time frame for this this console, which I do think he's accurate about. So CES would really, really surprise me. Maybe, maybe, the, <laughs> maybe, maybe a logo reveal, but even then it wouldn't make sense because then it would just confirm the existence of a PlayStation 5 Pro, which obviously, as Tom Henderson said previously, that we would start to see more stuff leak out about it since now these dev kits are starting to go out to third party developers. Let me know in the comments if you would buy a PlayStation 5 Pro and what price tag would you like to see on a product like this that is considered a premium product. Now let's talk about Silent Hill 2 Remake. Leaker Dust Golem, we've talked about this person uh, quite a lot in the past, and they have been pretty accurate, is saying that uh, Silent Hill 2 is basically feature complete and just in its polishing phase. If you guys remember, Bloober Team released uh, a statement in November 2023 where they said that the studio is working to ensure that the game attains the highest quality. And this came after a silence, quite a silence uh, since their, their initial reveal. So it was really interesting. We all kind of thought to ourselves, well, why would they do this? Dust Golem also pointed towards a corporate notice on Bloober Team's website dated January 2nd, 2024, in which the company mentions that it has secured funding for an Unreal Engine 5 related project. Silent Hill is going under final touches, according to Dust Golem. They've got a skeleton crew on the game, and it looks like most of the people have moved on to this new horror game licensed by the Walking Dead owner, Skybound. So it, there's a lot of stuff in the air here, but what I take from this is if this is true, which I'm inclined to believe that this is quite accurate, is that Silent Hill 2 Remake is likely going to drop this year. And then they have already started to, to move forward to the next project while having a small team, you know, pol polishing and, and making sure Silent Hill 2 launches without any major hiccups. Alongside Dusk Gollum's report, we also did see that Silent Hill 2 is in the video that PlayStation uploaded to their main channel showing games coming in 2024, which also adds 
more credence to this being a game that releases in 2024 a lot of us already thought that this was going to be the case and it looks more and more likely that this is going to happen so i'm starting to think that this is a sure thing it's just a matter of time till we get a state of play or a showcase or something from bloober team and konami themselves to say exactly when this game will be releasing now moving on to metal gear solid delta if you look at it this is another game that also showed up in this video from PlayStation's main channel. And this game doesn't have much info out about it. I mean, we got a teaser trailer. So the fact that it's showing up in a upcoming games in 2024 for PS5, you know, sizzle reel, it makes you believe that is Sony telling us that this game is coming in 2024? Or is this an assumption? Or what is this exactly? I would be surprised to see this game drop in 2024, but I'm starting to think that they must be pretty far along and something must be going on here because why else would they show this in a sizzle reel from the official PlayStation page? So this adds a lot of excitement to 2024 even more so. Imagine Silent Hill 2 Remake and Metal Gear Solid Delta. That is crazy. It's going to be a crazy year for Konami if that is the case. I don't know that it is, but if that is the case, it's going to be an exciting year for Konami. And I'm thinking that with this these two titles showing up in this sizzle reel that it's more than likely a situation where they might be targeting 2024 at least with with silent hill for sure but like metal gear solid yeah that might be like a guaranteed target for 2024 as well um but hey sometimes games get pushed out so we'll see what happens but i'm very 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 uh you know optimistic about the future with this game possibly dropping let me know what you guys think in the comments do you think silent hill 2 remake and mgs are going to be dropping this year as always if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button if you did not enjoy the video hit the dislike button subscribe if you're new and share the video to keep the community informed i thank y'all for watching take care